have more than you show speak less than you know welcome you all once again for the english class today we are going to see the new poem that is time and love by william shakespeare before going to deeply let we see about time and love the time and love time and love is a sonnet 64 as one of 154 sonnets written by the english playwright and poet william shakespeare It is a member of the fair youth sequence in which the poet expresses his love towards a young man. The opening quatrain begins with personification of time, a destroyer of a great things built by man. A forced man cannot equal. The second quatrain portrays a victorious struggle between the sea and the land in the last quatrain the speaker applies these lessons to his own situation realizing that death has inevitable and time will come and take his love away that means death is unavoidable and time will come and take his love away The concluding couplet is contrast to Shakespeare's typical practice provides no solution no clever no twist one lay in avoidable tears that means unavoidable tears in the concluding part Sonnet 64 is an English or a Shakespearean sonnet The English sonnet has three quatrains followed by a final rhyming couplet. It follows the typical rhyme scheme of the form A B A B C D C D E F E F G G G and is composed in iambic pentameter. A type of poetic meter based on five parts of metrically weak strong syllabic positions the fourth line exemplifies a regular iambic pentameter the fourth line as both the first it moved to the right some of the critics explain the sonnet 64 deals with shakespeare's struggle against rhyme which he cannot withstand He also presents the idea of the revolution of sea and land, although not many other critics agree. In another point of view, Sonnet 64 catalogs instances of inevitable destruction, so has to provide a consolation of for death and place. Death and place are where emphasizes on the inescapable fact of mutability. i hope everyone knows that death it is unavoidable one because of inevitability and finality of death shakespeare's lover is not choosing to leave him on the contrary his lover could not do anything about it in this way shakespeare is able to feel better about himself because the love of his life was taken from him involuntarily however sonnet 64 does not specify whether shakespeare is more upset over the loss of life or the loss of love and most of the critic place sonnet 64 in a chronological sequence are grouped with the sonnet 62 Sonnet seventy four, both. 
one of the T. W. Bladwin agreed that these sonnets are similar in subject and tone. However, another critic also disagreed this. He placed Sonnet sixty four in a sonnet group containing only Sonnet sixty three and Sonnet sixty eight. Now, let's see about poet. William Shakespeare was an English playwright, poet, and actor, widely regarded as the greatest writer in the English language, and the world's greatest dramatist. He is often called England's national poet and the Board of Heaven. William Shakespeare was born on 26th April 150 sorry 1564 and died on 23rd April 1616 was an English poet playwright poet and actor widely regarded as the greatest writer in the English language and the world's greatest dramatist he is often called England's national poet and the board of ever His extant works including collaboration consist of some 39 plays, 154 sonnets, two long narrative poems and a few other verses. Some of uncertain authorship his his plays have been translated into major living language and are performed more often than those of any other playwright. they also continue to be studied and reinterpreted shakespeare was born on raised in stratford upon avon warwickshire at the age of 18 he married han hath away with whom he had three children susanna and twins hanet and judith sometime between 1585 and 1592 he began a successful career in london as an actor a writer and part owner of the playing company called the london chamberlain men later known as the king's men at the age of 49 he appears to have retired to stortford where he died 3 years later few records of shakespeare's private life survive this as this has stimulated considerable speculation about such matter has a physical appearance actually he was a uh, in the period of the late elizabethan and early Jap- jacobian era he was he was famous for his some of quotes also hell is empty and all the devils are here this violent dealt delights have violent ends all that glitters is not gold the lady thought protest too much me thinks now let me see some of his famous works in what i liked here i pointed out what you know which plays are very interesting by shakespeare you just comment in the comment section so here i mention famous works a comedy plays tragedy plays romance plays historical plays actually Shakespeare's plays were traditionally divided into this categories that is a comedy tragedy romance roman historical scholars of elizabethan drama believe that william shakespeare wrote at least 38 plays between 1590 and 1612 this dramatic works encompasses a wide range of subjects and styles from the playful a midsummer night dream to the gloomy macbeth shakespeare's play can be roughly divided into three genres comedies 
his stories and tragedies though some wrote such as the tempest and the winter's tale straddle the boundaries between these categories shakespeare's first play is generally believed to be henry 6 part 1 a history play about english politics in the year leading up to the wars of the rose the play was possibly collaboration between shakespeare and christopher marlowe another elizabethan dramatist who is best known for his tragedy dr faustus not only a playwright he was a poet some of a famous poem written by william shakespeare that is venus and adonis three songs when that i was an a little tiny boy these are the famous poems of shakespeare he was a renaissance poetry so some of us sonnet let me see which is going to we are going to detail shakespeare's sonnets are poems that william shakespeare wrote on variety of themes when a discussing or referring to shakespeare's sonnet it is almost always a reference to the 154 sonnets that were first published all together in a quarto in 1609 however there are six additional sonnets that shakespeare wrote and included in this play romeo and juliet henry v love's labor's last there is also a partial son partial sonnet found in the play edward 3 now what is sonnet a sonnet is a 14 line poem with a fixed rhyme scheme the word sonnet invented by the latin poet actually sonnet meaning is a little song types of sonnet the main types of sonnet in the english speaking world we usually refer to three discrete types of sonnet the petrarchan the shakespearean and the spenserian all of this maintain the features outlined above 14 lines a volto in by pentameter and they all three are written in sequence actually beginning of the beginning of this poem i explain what is meant by sonnet and what is the poem and about the writer now we go with the poem now we go to the poem time and love in sonnet 64 the poet portrayed as a historian philosopher and antiquary who dreams of times relentless destruction of ancient glories monuments that reflect the noblest ideas of human kind castle churches and cities will one day be confounded to dk sonnet 64 is remarkably similar to sonnet 60 it each sonnet can could conclude in a very different tone many of the same images are found in both sonnets here shakespeare has written 154 sonnets on the theme of time love beauty and destruction common theme he was focuses on common theme in in those 154 sonnets the poet is portrayed as a historian and philosopher many of the same images are found in the both sonnets the the oceans tireless pounding of the shore the give and take battle between the water and the land and the use of world conform to characterize times ceaseless progress 
However, the sonnet 60 is concluding coupled evokes feeling of high spirited joy and confidence. Sonnet 64 ends in despair. The poet is now certain that death will take my love away, but he no longer seems satisfied that his verses will ensure the youth immortality. The sonnet's last two lines convey a grievous depressing tone. The thought is a death which cannot choose but we have that which it fears to lose. The poet finally acknowledges the youth's and his own mortality. When I have seen by time's fell hand defaced, the rich proud cast of outdone buried age, when sometime lofty towers I see dawn raised, and raise an eternal slave to mortal age, when I have seen the hungry ocean gain, advantage on the kingdom of the show, and the time of soil when of the watery main, increasing store with loss and loss with store. When I have seen such an interchange of state, or state itself confounded to decay, rain hath taught me thus to ruminate. The time will come and take my love away. This thought has has a death which cannot be choose, but weep to live that which it is feared to loss. The poem is in the form of sonnet in 14 lines. It is divided into two sections. The first light, the first eight lines from a section called octate and the remaining six lines from a section called cestate. That is octave A B A B A B A B C D E C D E G G G First line When I seen by time fell hand defaced when when I seen times gone all ruthless had destroyed the rich proud cost of out own buried age. When I have seen by time's fell hand defaced. Here the time is personified by the poet. Fell hand and defaced. Just fell hand and defaced is a dis destructive part. It was defaced, it was an end. The rich proud cost of out own buried age. It was worn out by time. It was worn out. Everything was outdated. Where sometime lofty towers I see dawn raised. The lofty towers, noble monuments, Im imposing height. And everything was down raised, everything brought to ruin, everything destroyed. When sometimes lofty towers I see dawn raised, so he just says that about the monuments and uh, tall buildings. When he see that it was distressed, defaced. And brace eternal slave to mortal rage. The poet meditates on the ravage of time. All things constantly change into something else or falls into decay. Times deface everything including brace. When I have seen the hungry ocean gain. Advantage on the kingdom of the show. So, the poet thinks over the destruction of time, there is an interchange of place, the hungry ocean floats to shore and the land will become the part of the sea. Nothing is permanent in the world. The hungry ocean floats and shallows up the land. 
Time is the powerful force which creates the changes. The poet realized that all things constantly change into something else or falls into decay. And the French soil win of the watery mind, increasing store with loss and loss with store. So, it, at last, land is the part of sea. An increasing store with loss and loss with gain. There is a loss and there is a gain. When I have seen such interchanges of state, our state itself confounded to BK. In Sonnet 64, the poet meditates on the ravages of time, great monuments and lofty towers are confounded to decay. The poet thinks of a temporary nature of life. So here, changes in the world are itself, state itself confounded, the state itself destroyed to decay. Ruin hath taught me thus to ruminate. The time will come and take my love. Ruminate as understand. So those things, those thoughts, those thoughts he have his just a thought has one day the time will come and take away his love. This thought has as here death which cannot choose. So it is this thought makes him as to be a death which cannot choose. But weep to have that which it feared to lose. Time destroys all things on the earth. The poet thinks over that time will come and take away his love. Who is clear to him? Who is dear to him? This thought is like a death to him. He weeps over the thought of losing his beloved, the one who is waiting for him. Time has destroyed all the things on the earth. The poet thinks over the time will come and take away his love. Who is dear to him? This thought is like a death to him. He weeps over the thought of losing his beloved. At last, what he said, If there is a birth, there is a death. If there is a beginning and there is an end. Thank you girls. If you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section.